Man, I'm chopping it up. Like, I'm not just trying to put a whole turkey down the toilet. I'm not an idiot. No, I understand that. But either way, we need to make sure everything's okay for that building. Oh, everything's fine. I'm just going to keep flushing. But it's like when I when I flush, it, the water comes up and it, go, it goes over to the edge. And it gets all over. Right, the... so which means that it's not okay. So maintenance would need to come over and take care no, of it. No, it's fine because I've been putting towels down. Towel down, towel down, towel down, towel down. But I think if I just keep flushing, it'll go down eventually. Okay, so that's not fine. Towel down, towel down, towel down. Okay, so I have your permission to just continue flushing. No, who is it? Roy. Is your bell? Mommy? No, who is it? Roy. Is your bell? Mommy? No, who is it? Roy. Is your bell? Mommy? No, who is it? Roy. Is your bell? Mommy? Thank you, ZTK, for that intro song. That's one of those intro songs I found by reading my email, and there were quite a few songs in there that people have sent in. That one was by ZTK. Hey, everybody, this is the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and today's show is sponsored by Machu, JT, SimSpeak, CelebrityCash.com, and Half Alpha. They all support the show on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers. They got to hear a hobo sode earlier this week, which I think was a pretty good hobo sode. I mean, I didn't hate it or anything. It didn't completely suck. I need to play a clip from the Wasted Memory show that I keep forgetting to play. It's kind of a short clip. It's where they were prank calling hotels. And I won't play the first half of the prank because it's mostly just the guy not falling for anything. I mean, he got a little annoyed with Dragon Mirror here. But anyway, just listen for a minute and you will know why I am playing this clip from the Wasted Memory show of several weeks ago. Uh, I can tell you that if you do smoke or vape any substance whatsoever in the room, uh, you will be charged $200. And I am able to reverse the caller ID. Okay. So don't smoke in the room, and we will immediately evict you, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. What if I pay the 200 up front? If you smoke in the room, you will be immediately evicted and placed uh -huh. on our do not rent list. Now, what I need to get to continue to help you is yeah, the last I, name in the room I'll or the room number. Well, you just told me you're trying to put me on a DNR list, and I don't want that. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that as of right now, but if we have to investigate this because of the nature of the call, it is possible management okay. will do so. I'll so if you want to cooperate and give me the information I'm asking for, we can better help you. you. I'll make a deal with you. I'm making a list of assholes whose cars I'm going to key later. Um, what was your name again, and what car do you drive? And then I'll tell you. Uh, well, my name is Steve Dave. Is it? Ca yes, my name is Steve Dave. One word. Like the cactus? Just listen to the complete change in tone and personality and everything from Dragon Mirror when this guy who he's pranking suddenly says the name Steve Dave. Like Steve Dave the ca with the cactus on it? Yeah, like Steve Dave with the cactus. Are you with like, PLA? Oh, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. What's going on, man? <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, I didn't open, think PLA, would, PLA the would, would ever call my hotel. Open, well, I'm not. I'm not official because that's only Brad. But open, uh, Brad, uh, open up the thing. Open up the mumble. Open it up. I think Dragon Mirror was trying to get me to come onto the show with him and say hi to this guy. But thankfully, I wasn't actually around when this happened. I was just around earlier in the night, so he thought I was still there. No, I, I, I'm hey, a what's up? Talk to this guy. <laughs> that's, okay, that's really funny. Well, it's, it's, it's kind of sucks you're not official because I'd like to be on the show and not just on a voicemail, but. No, you're officially on. That's it. You're, yeah, you're on Prankcast <laughs> right now. You're, you're live. Uh, so. Wait. You're live. Is, is that, am I talking to Brad? No, no, no. no, 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 no Brad Carter? I don't, no. I don't know this who, is all, Brad I don't know who all you know and listen to, but this is Dragon Man. Wasted Memory is here. Milkbox is here. I'm Brad's sister. I'm, that guy's pretending to I was about sister. 30 seconds away from transferring you guys to Beverly. Brad is in the yeah. chat room. <laughs> I was gonna transfer you to Beverly. Brad, yeah, we all we all know you. We all know about the show here, so you know. <laughs> That's amazing that you guys called us. Anyway, I gotta go because because I'm at work. But uh, you guys have a go good to, night, okay? Go to Braincast.com and listen to the show live right now. Braincast.com. On Braincast? Yeah, yeah. I have my laptop. If I'm if I'm on downtime, I'll I'll see what you guys what you guys are doing tonight. I love you. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I guess Steve yeah. didn't get you guys off, but hey, I don't know yeah, what to no, say, no, you know, sure. so. <laughs> no, that's, that's the white flag, and we're cool with that. Just a tip, though. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> tell that woman. All right, I tell my girlfriend too because she actually—I uh, I don't know what her name is, but she, yeah, she's a uh, she uh, supports the show on on Patreon, um, a Brad show. But yeah, I have to I have to call her right now and tell her. This, We're uh, actually this on your roof right now. Well, support wasted memory and Dragon Mirror too on Patreon. I love yeah, it. hey. Yeah, fuck Brad. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell. I gotta go, guys. Hey, thanks for the call. I love you. Bye. <laughs> love you too. Bye. Oh. Bye. Damn. Oh, that is that a beautiful. is that a first? I think that is a first. <laughs> that's historic. So that was pretty great. Dragon Mirror got busted on Wasted Memories show. That happened on January thirty first of two thousand twenty three. If you want to go find that episode of the Wasted Memory Show. I don't know what that guy's name was or anything, but congratulations on getting pranked by not me, but a different show. But I'm playing it on my show, so it's kind of like you got pranked by me. Hello? Hey, Scott. Who's this? That's uh, Roy, I'm your neighbor. I was in your backyard last night. Scott? What? I was in your backyard last night. I drive a truck. You have me confused. Now, what are you talking about? Oh, I was in your backyard last night, and uh, I brought a an old, you know, a landline phone, like a lineman's handset, with me, and I hooked it up to the side of your house. And I'm able to make long distance phone calls on your, you know, out of your phone box. You might want to put a lock on this thing. What were you doing at my house? Uh, I just, um, you know, I, I live nearby. I'm over on Road. Yeah. And I was just uh, going in the backyards. I got this this telephone company lineman's handset at a yard sale over by the church. So I was just trying it out. But you know, I like you. So you do have a landline. You're talking on it now. Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm at home right now. And your name is what? Roy. Yeah, and I, I was I I was back there like for a good two or three hours just making phone calls off of your phone line. And there's a place on the box back there uh, to put a padlock on if you want to lock people out. I want to know what you were doing on my property. I, I'm for just three I, hours making phone calls. Well, they weren't expensive phone calls. They were just standard long distance. You know. But like, I'm just saying, like, you might want to get a lock on that thing, because what if a, uh, you know, a not nice neighbor were to come by and. Yeah, yeah. What's your address? For what? So I can send you a bill. A bill for what? The phone calls you made. Oh, don't be all. Don't be like that about it. It'll be a cheapskate. I'm helping you improve your security around your house. I'll find you on my camera. What camera? There's no cameras. I have cameras all over my place. You know... I was just trying to help. Yeah, what's just, your last name? I mean, like, instead of being a dick, why don't you just buy a padlock and put that in your phone box? Um... Instead of you being a prick, what the hell were you doing on my property? Improving your security. You're welcome. N You're welcome. N no, this isn't working out right. Okay, um, well, maybe you should say thank you. That's the proper thing to do. No, it's not. It's Why don't you come up to my front door so I can see who the hell you are? Well, I'm usually How's that? I'm usually out late at night, and uh, I go in your backyard sometimes, and take care of the trees I don't want you on my property if I catch you on my property I'm gonna call the police on you well, there's no there's no uh, trespassing signs yes there are oh, I they're all over the place I didn't see him you should make him more uh, visible and your name is what it's probably because I w walked through your next door neighbor's yard to get over there and where do you live um, just like, you know, down the road. Down the road. Road. You know, over by the post, you know, by the post office? Yeah. Yeah, right over there. We're neighbors. What is that beeping sound? You're not tracing what, me. What is your concern? Why are you tracing me or something? So what? You've already been traced. So 
what house do you live in? We're you using your stud finder. Um, what house are you? Do you live in? Why? I don't need my security tested. I don't need oh your... well, so I can go down and put a pup tent out in your backyard. Oh um, yeah, see that's why I'm not going to give you my address. You're being a little well, I'll, bit I'll weird over there. It. I mean, I'm going to call the police after this and um, tell them that you've been coming in my thing, and they will take care of. I've been coming in your thing. You're making it sound dirty. Gross. Don't say it like that. Work on a better way to rephrase it. Your name's Rory. Yeah, you Rory. The, huh? R Rory. Rory. <laughs> Rory. Rory, and you live Rory. off of Jordan Road. Yes. And you think it's okay to go into people's backyards? Uh, well, you know, like I said, I was just testing your security, and you... Well, that's really cute. You failed the test. Um, I don't want to ever see you Rory, and if I find out where you Rory. live, Rory, I'll have the police come and get you. Don't have them come get me. I, that's happened before. Well, Rory, what's your last name, Rory? Oh, I'm not telling you, because then you'll look me up and you'll put a... Pitch a tent in my yard or whatever dirty thing you're saying earlier. Well, Rory, where do you live? We've already been over this. You're just being repetitive now. Why are you trying to keep me on the line? You've already traced my call. Rory, leave me alone. No. I refuse. I got this list here from Mullen Wolf, and it's just a phone number and address. A name of everybody that lives in this town. And I think it might actually be everybody because there's more phone numbers here than the population of the town is supposed to be. I'm also getting a lot of disconnected numbers. And he sent me a lot of these that didn't even have phone numbers on them in case I wanted to look them up on white pages myself. But fuck that. That's a lot of work. I already deleted all of those. So I don't really know what I'm doing with these. I'm just calling up numbers and seeing what happens. Hello? Hey there, uh, this this is Joe. I'm the AT T operator. I have a collect call from Deborah. Will you accept the charges? Uh, no, I will not. Okay. Also, can you tell those kids in the background just to shut the fuck up? Oh my god, you just screamed right in my ear. I'm sorry, those are my kids, so you can fuck off. Well, they need to shut up. Okay, so I've sorted these by address so that I can see who lives with each other. And maybe I could just do some collect calls that way, even though collect calls make no sense at all. And they're probably not going to be that good. Some people in the comments were saying, oh, the collect call thing, that's so funny. You should do much more of that. But you can't even make collect calls to cell phones. It's more of a landline thing. And some of these are landlines, but some of them are cell phones. I don't think anybody knows the rules anymore of how collect calls work. So we can just kind of make things up. Hello, this is Rita. Hey there, uh, this is Steve Dave from at and I have a collect call from uh, Cameron. Will you accept the charges? No, this is a business line. Oh, well, yeah, she said she's trying to call the business. You want to just put the call through well, then? No, because we will not accept the charges. Okay, well, you're being a little sketchy about it. I don't understand why. Um, because I'm surprised a person is calling a business for a collect call. Wow, okay. Well, you know what? I'm just going to put it through. I'm going to say yes to the charges. Here you go. Man, I was going to put through Carol, but I guess people you're making collect calls to have the same defense as people whose numbers you're changing. They just hang up the phone and hope for the best. Hello. Hi there. Uh, this is Steve Dave with at and T. I I have a collect call from Elizabeth. Uh, will you accept the charges for that? Elizabeth who? Uh, Elizabeth Hopkins. You can't have a collect call from her. That's who you called. You called me. I'm Elizabeth Hopkins. Oh, no, no. She says her name's Elizabeth Hopkins. She's at a pay phone by the Dairy Queen. Nope. Don't know who that is. Well, no, she says she's Elizabeth Hopkins. So how could you be Elizabeth Hopkins? Well, you're calling Elizabeth Hopkins. So well, I don't, <laughs> I don't think know. so. I don't think so because she's calling you. So I don't know what kind of scam you're trying to pull here, lady. I'm sorry? I don't know what kind of scam you're trying to pull here, but I don't appreciate it. I'm just trying to do my job here. I'm confused. You just called me. Yeah, I don't know who you even are. But, uh, yeah, it's Elizabeth Hopkins. She's the one making the call. 
Okay, well, I don't accept the charges. You said accept the charges? Okay, let me put it through. No, I do not accept the charges. Hello, this is Elizabeth. Oh, man. She hung up. I want to get someone to talk to the person that's calling collect. Hello? Oh, hello. Uh, this this is uh, Steve Dave. I'm, I'm in your backyard right now. I'm your neighbor. Hello, Bev? Yes? And I don't know. Um, do you guys have a dog? Cause I, I, I got my hair in dog poop. You got what? Let me see that. What'd you say? I I got my hair in dog poop. It was in your it was in your yard. Hello. What the hell are you talking about? You. I'm saying, why don't you clean up your yard? Because I was laying in your yard and I got, I got dog poop in my hair. Sir. You some kind of a whack job. I don't even know what that means. Are you a fucking idiot? Do you know what that means? I think you're a fucking idiot. Where you at? You son of a bitch. I'll fucking talk to you man to man. Where you at? Well, I'm, I'm going home now to wash my hair, but I'll be, I'll be in your backyard again later tonight. Like maybe around three in the morning. Come on, you come on. You'll see what the fuck you get in my backyard. Well, no, you I was. Come on. I was just hanging out back there. You come on. I was just hanging I out back there. You in my backyard. You son of a bitch. And then you know I got dog shit in my hair because you guys are disgusting people. You know, clean up your yard. Where in the fuck do you even live? I don't quite a ways from here, but now I got to go home, and I think you owe me some shampoo. Because, you know, I got dog shit in my hair, thanks to you. Thanks to your dog. You got dog shit in your mouth, too. No, just, in my, dog just, shit in, your just mouth. in my hair. No, you got it in your mouth, too, buddy. I can tell. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you still listening? Your husband fantasizes about people having dog shit in their mouth. That's a little oh, weird, don't you think? your wife fantasizes about me every fucking night. Ma'am, did you hear that? He fantasizes about my wife you know fantasizing that? about him. This doesn't sound like a healthy relationship. Night. You know, you stupid quack. I got your fucking phone number right here. Oh, no. I had I no idea that would happen. I'm going to bother you so fucking much. You're going to what? I'm going to bother you so fucking much. I'm going to even fucking probably turn your ass into the wall out here. Okay, well, which are you going to do? Are you going to bother me or are you going to go the legal Both. route? Both. You fucking queer. Well, I, I mean, like, you know, you like, fucking if, you, queer. if you bother me, then I don't think you can call the police. Here he is calling back. Hey, baby, you're not bothering me yet, just so you know. Yeah, I am. It just bothered you because you fucking had to pick up again. <laughs> yeah, it was awful. What's Beverly yeah, doing? Was, What's Beverly doing? Fucking queer. What's you Beverly doing? Queer. All right, this is it. I'm calling the law right okay. now uh, you have fun Turn with that fucking ass in. hey you know what if i ever meet you motherfucker i'm gonna kiss you on the mouth you and i we're gonna you make out no idea who you're talking we're gonna to. make you out and we're gonna touch tongues together i would shoot you in the fucking head so quick you have no idea who you're oh i don't think with. you would because you would enjoy my tongue in your mouth way too much <laughs> young up if anyone ever calls you a queer, just prove them right by threatening to kiss them on the mouth. They don't seem to like that too much. I don't know why. I'm not that bad of a kisser. Hello? Hey, uh, this is Roy, your neighbor. Yeah. And I was just wondering, like, I was up on your roof the other night, and I lost my wedding ring, and I think I lost it up there. Can I go back up there tonight and look around for it? Roy, you weren't on my roof. This uh, is a residence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Over at 12 Street. Yeah. Yeah. That was me. I was up on the roof. But I think. What I, were you doing on our roof? <laughs> I, I was just cleaning out the gutters. No. We don't even have anything to clean up. Hey. Uh -uh. Got the wrong Will you tell that guy to shut up? Do what? Well, you shut up, sir. I'm. I'm busy. I'm talking on the phone to a nice lady, and you're in the background just bringing down my high. Oh, man. Are we going to have words? So why don't you just shut the fuck up, you son of a bitch? 
Oh. I'm hanging up. No, don't hang up. This is fun. <laughs> Somebody. Knows. Yeah. Yeah. What's okay. so fun about it? Where'd you go? Get Where'd your, you go? Honey, get your guns. Go get your guns. Go everybody. Go get your gun, you pussy. Oh shit, he's going to get his gun. What's he going to do? Shoot the phone? Thank you for calling. This is Jay. How can I help you? What? Don't lie. Hello? Don't lie. Hello? Weirdo. What? Hi. Hello. Uh, you called? This is Jay. How can I help you? Geraldine? Jay from how can I help you? Oh, it sounded like you said Geraldine. Okay, how can I help you? Um, you better hang up that phone. What? Hang up that phone. Do you need something? No, I need you to hang up that phone. You called, sir. Yeah, I'm calling to tell you to hang up that phone. So is the purpose of calling? Yeah, I'm calling to let you know to please hang up the phone. Are you bored or something? Is this a prank? No, it's not a prank. I'm just ordering you to hang up that damn phone. Okay, don't uh, don't cuss at me. And how are you going to tell me to hang up a phone when you call? Do you need something or not? This is a retirement home and assisted living. I just want you to hang up that freaking phone. You can do that because you called. Oh, no, I'm not hanging up anything. <laughs> okay. Can I talk to a random old person, please? No, you can't talk to one of our... Right. Who is this? I'm going to pretend I'm uh, someone... I'm going to pretend I'm your brother. You have a nice night, sir. Oh, uh, no, you hang up that phone. Oh, no, you hang up that phone. Yeah, um... How dare, yeah. You, how dare you mock me? How dare you call and ask to speak to one of our residents and you are no family member of this. Like, I know. This isn't a joke. People reside here. Like, th- nothing's funny about that. People are what? They reside here. They live here. I Nothing's didn't... funny about you. What did I say was funny? I haven't said anything funny. I just said, hang up that damn phone. You must. Darn phone. But you called. Freaking phone. But you called. Well, you're the one not hanging up the darn phone. And you're the one who called. Well, um. Yeah. We seem to be at an impasse you here. You said what? We seem to be at an impasse here. What are we going to do about this? I don't know. You tell me. I have no ideas. Sorry. No? Okay, well then. Maybe you should hang up and find somewhere else to call instead of playing on a facility phone. Because uh, you do know this is recorded, right? I'm not playing on the that. facility phone. Yeah, I'm recording you too. Okay, well, I, I'm don't rec- call it. I'm recording in, in separate tracks. I've got you set up on line one. and uh, So I'm, you're just calling random facilities, playing on their phone? Oh, no, I'm not playing on the phone. I was just saying I'm recording this call, too. And how is that benefiting you when you're, like, how is that benefiting you? Uh, Well, that's none of your business, young lady. Sarah, what's your name? What's your name? Roy. Roy? Yep, Roy Gerbel. Yeah, well, um, I'm gonna report to you because oh, you better not report funny me. About, oh, I I will though. Like, Are you gonna report funny me about this. for not being funny? No, I'm going to report to you for asking to talk to one of our residents, and you are no family member there. It's calling this phone and playing on it when people actually use this line. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't say that I was with family. What was your purpose I, of calling? Who I, are you? I just said I was gonna pretend I was. Somebody related to and you. And that's not funny. Who are you? Oh, well, you wouldn't let me do it. Obviously, when you got this number, you must have typed in. So, what was your purpose of doing that? Who oh, are you? No, I, I was I was trying to call someone named Geraldine, and this appears to be a wrong phone number. You have a nice night, sir. You know what? Geraldine was. Yay! She hung up the phone. Yeah, that is what happened. Uh, that was supposed to be for someone named Geraldine, but I think her name was Jay or something, and she just wanted to tie up the phone all night. She didn't want anyone to get through. She's like, I'm going to stay here all night and talk. Nobody will be able to call their loved ones tonight. I'm going to talk to this weirdo on the phone. And now she's going to report me? Like, what did I do? I didn't do anything. This is John. I'm not here right now. If you leave your name and number, I'll call you back. At the tone, please record your message.
When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. John, you son of a bitch. You better call me back. I've got a voicemail in my inbox that's been there for a couple days now. The name on the caller ID is Barbara. Hey, Steve, this is the guy that was trying to steal your data. Give me a call back. Talk to you later. Yeah, right. I wasn't trying to talk to him. I was trying to talk to Barbara. I think it was on a hobo sode, or maybe it was on the snowplow show from last week. But Barbara was in the bathroom pooping, and I kept asking if Barbara was browned. And she was pointing a cantina at me every time I walked by their house. And that guy tried to convince me that they didn't have coffee cans in their house. But he's full of shit. Hello? Hi, Miriam? Yes. Hey, uh, this is your neighbor. It's Roy. I live down the road a bit. Okay. Um, I was in your tree last night. Uh, you know, in your Why? Fr- well, I was, um, I was mounting some uh, uh, weather, weather experiment stuff up in the tree. Okay. And uh, it's, it's basically just a microwave that I've mounted up there, pointed at the sky. Mm-hmm. And I took the door off, and it's just going to be up there running all the time in your tree. Okay. What tree is this? Oh, it's, it's up near the front. You won't be able to see it, I don't think. It's just, okay. but you'll you'll see where it is because it's gonna mess up bird migration patterns in the sky. Okay. So you might see birds fly around erratically or drop out oh. of, drop out of the sky. Oh, uh, you you're screwing up your radar, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the <laughs> the, the magnetic waves it really freaks them out. Uh huh. Yeah. So and why is it there? Uh, I mounted it up there last night. I was up in your tree about three or four in the morning. And but I got, why why did you pick that tree? I'm just monkeying around with bird migration patterns. I I put one up in Mrs. Stuman's tree too. Okay, and where do you live? Uh, well, I'm on Street, but um, quite a ways down the road. Okay. And how long is that going to be up there? Uh, um, three and a half years. Oh man! Yep, screwing around with them that long, huh? It's what? You're screwing around with the birds that long, huh? Yeah, I'm hoping to affect their migration patterns permanently. Why? Why uh, do you want to change it? I'm just bored, and it's funny. <laughs> so you're screwing around with birds because you don't have anything else to do, huh? Well, you know, at least I'm doing something. I'm not just sitting around the house watching football. Nothing wrong with watching football. I like to watch it myself. Uh, you're wrong. Yeah, like football's dumb. Oh, uh, well, I guess we all have our own opinions. That's true, like me and my birds. Mm-hmm. And what are you doing with this knowledge then? Oh, uh, I'm not going to report it to any scientific journal. I'm just going to, I I don't know what I'm doing. you just screwing up birds with the jollies of it. Yeah, yeah, pretty. It's not screwing them up. I'm just confusing them. Well, it's like you a pra- already said you. It was. It's like a practical joke. It's affecting your. Well, then take it out of my tree. This is messing I up. I don't think it's. It's just messing up their radar, and their long term well, memory. Well, do it in someone else's tree, okay? Well, well, no, I've already, I've, I've already hooked it up in your tree. Exactly. You did it without my permission. Okay. Take well, it down. No, I, I was, I, I, you know, I, I was up there for a while getting that mounted up there perfectly. And do but, I care about that? Well, I mean, you'll be able to look up in the sky and, and see the way that they're flying. It'll probably make you laugh. I think I went down. Okay. I'll take it down in three and a half years. Take it down before then. That's um, 2026. No, you and, take it down. Okay, I'll definitely take that down. I'll be out there tonight about 3 or 4 in the morning. Thank you. But ma'am, I, I can't guarantee I'm going to take it down. Because, you know, I got it set up perfectly. And I got to have it in a, a certain array around the countryside. You know, around the neighborhood. You know what? Yeah. If, you were, if you were so concerned about that, you should have asked before you did it. Well, I'd I'd rather I prefer to ask for uh, forgiveness instead of permission. Okay. Well, you didn't get it. Well, if if I just ask you if I can mount a a microwave in your tree with the door ripped off and a screwdriver shoved in the safety hole, 
you'd probably tell me and no. And I would have said no. I know. Exactly. So I'm sorry. And you know what? I'm just I'm doing something interesting with bird migration patterns. Okay, we'll do it in someone else's tree. Man, this is going to be in a scientific journal when I'm done. You said it wasn't. You weren't reporting it to anyone. Yeah, I lied to you. I didn't want you to know. The, um, Take the, it down. I've got a government grant for this. Fine. And I've Take ar- it down. I've already written down in my in uh, my my stuff here that it's on your property. But you did that without our permission before you did it. It's right out there by Take the it street. Down. Is that right out there by the street? I think it's technically the easement. You know, you keep changing your story. Well, yeah, I'm just trying so to... So I'm, I'm starting to not trust anything you say. Okay, well, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. And I'm just, I'm trying to do my science stuff here. So you, you mm-hmm. just, you just let, leave me alone and let me do my science, okay? And you leave my trees alone. Okay, I won't go up there anymore, except, I mean, I might need to make... To adjust- take it down. Well, I You're might... You're going to go out there and you take it down. I might need to go up there, like, next year and make some adjustments. Yeah, and if you don't do that sooner than that, I might rip it down. Oh, you can't get up there. It's way up there. Uh, you got up there. I uh, yeah, but um, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid of heights. I'm young. And, I've climbed trees before. I'm young and spry. That's fine. I'm spry too. I jumped from the top of the tree and just did one of those superhero landings. Didn't even hurt me. Yeah, right. I did. You're right. I did. You don't believe anything I say. Uh, not anymore. All right. I got to go because uh, I'm going over to Mrs. Steumann's because house. Because you're going to go down the road and you're going to take it down. Well, no, I got to go to Mrs. Steumann's first and just make some adjustments to her microwave in the tree. And then you're going to come take it down. No, Ma'am, they, these are all communicating with each other. Good. Like, I'm, I'm making Find the, another tree to communicate with. I, I've designed a really efficient system for fucking up bird migration patterns. Do you want me to give uh, my husband your number and he can talk to you? Yes. I will do that. <laughs> okay. Good luck with that. I love you, man. He's even meaner than I am. Oh, you're not that mean. I, I think you're pretty sweet, to be honest. Yeah. And well, I, li- I like your name, Miriam. That's a cool name. Thank you. Don't try to change the subject. Sorry. All he right. doesn't appreciate people coming to our property and doing things without our permission. Okay. Well, uh, and I don't either. Just try to explain it to him in a nice way and, and let him know I'm a nice person and it's all for science. And you're a liar. I, That's I, what I'll start with. I'm not a liar. You told me you weren't doing a scientific experiment. You were doing it for your own jollies. I was just... Uh, I was, and, then you changed, and then you changed your story. I was just keeping it on the DL, you know. I, That's all. And now I don't know what to believe. Okay, well... Uh, like, just don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt your tree. Well, I mean, it might turn some of the leaves brown prematurely, but just the ones in its path. Take it down. Okay. I'm going to go take it down. Bye. And don't wait three and a half years. Shoot. I thought I had a loophole there. Nope. I'm on to you. <laughs> Crap. Okay. I love you. I got to go. So this is a new interactive uh, part of the Snowplow Show that I've devised. It's kind of like homework. I want all of you to go out tonight and climb up in someone's tree and mount a microwave up there. Uh, You might have a little bit of trouble figuring out a power source, but I have faith in all of you listeners. You can do it. Just make sure you rip the door off and you jam a screwdriver down there in the safety hole. Oh my God, I love saying the, the phrase safety hole. I think I made that up. I don't even think that's a microwave term. Yeah, and then just uh, make sure you uh, point it kind of like north-northeast, directly at the bird's migration patterns. So do you guys think that lady really believes me? Is she going to go out to the road and try and look for a microwave? Or maybe listen carefully for the hum of a microwave that is turned on? Hello. Hey, Chester? Yep. Hey, it's Roy, your neighbor. Yeah. Hey, you know your dog... Yeah. Um. Well, you know how he normally poops at a whenever he's pooping out there in there in the yard, he's always pooping at a north to south axis. I guess why. Well, I I've been I've pointed a device out my window toward your property, and I've got him to start pooping at a, a west to east axis. 
Yeah. And um, it's pretty crazy. Like, I, I just didn't know if you'd noticed. And I wanted to make sure he's doing okay and he didn't have any crazy personality changes. No. Which neighbor are you? Uh, I'm on a little bit to the west, you know, with that, that little property up there with the swimming pool. The nice one. Across the street. To the... Are you up here on the corner? Yeah. Yeah, but, like, um, so I took the door off of a high-powered microwave, and I've aimed it at your property where your dog poops. Okay. And I, I'm just, I'm confusing him with the uh, the magnetic fields of the earth. And now he's he's pooping east to west. You know? Okay, well, I'll keep check on that then. Okay, but he's he's doing okay. He's, he's, he's not like a, a new dog, is he? No, no. He's not acting like an evil demon dog. No, and we don't we don't keep dogs like that. Yeah, but you know he might have changed. Like in the movie Pet Cemetery, you know their cat turns into an evil demon cat. Okay, well I appreciate your call. All right, I love you. I don't know what else to do with this microwave thing, except I definitely want to do it with the tenants from Hell Call. Electronic life. No, where's Ryan? This is Ryan. Why are you saying electronic life? What are you on drugs? What's that? Are you on drugs or something? No, why? I don't know. I called you up, and you're just like, electronic life. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? It's the company I work for. Who's this? Oh, I thought you were just making a proclamation. Like, like hell yeah, everybody. Is this Corey? Yes. How'd you know? <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> I was like, who's this? No, I didn't save this number, but I actually got food poisoning last night. So. Oh, no. What'd you, what'd you eat? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Uh, the wife wanted Taco Bell. Uh, I don't usually do Taco Bell. Yeah, stay away from that place. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm at so. the the wireless store right now, Uh huh. and I'm having them swap our phone numbers. Okay. So your phone number is going to be my phone number. And my phone number is going to be your phone number. <laughs> That's funny. Well, no, I'm serious. That's when people great. call this for, they're going to reach me instead of you. But I'll take messages. <laughs> You're great. Uh, thank you. Want to make out? Say, say again. Want to make out? Hey, I've been thinking about um, taking the next step in our relationship and I really think that I should come on over there and kiss you on the mouth. Who is this? Corey. Corey who? Oh, how many Corys do you know? Come on. Multiples. Well, I'm the one that wants to kiss you on the mouth. Are you saying that you would do it if it was a certain Corey, but if it was another Corey, you probably wouldn't be interested Hey, here's a Corey on the list. Maybe this is the other Corey he knows. Hey, it's Corey. Hey, Corey. Message. Ah, shit. Later. Damn it, Corey. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Damn it, Goodbye. Corey. I guess we'll never know. Hello. Hey, Clinton. Yes. Uh, this is Steve Dave from Royco Roofing. I'm on your roof uh -huh. right now. You know, we're taking down your roof. And we just have this small problem. You're taking down my roof. Yeah, we've, we've removed the back side of your roof, and we're getting ready to take down all the shingles on the front. And we're gonna put. The... I think you have the. I think you have the wrong number. Oh, <laughs> well, this isn't Clinton. This is Clinton, but uh, no, you're, I have nobody working on my roof today. Well, we're, we're out here at the at Twenty Street. Okay. Um, we're taking the roof off. I would search. Like, why would you tell us I to take the roof off? I don't know why you would be at my home taking my roof off well, because no, there is no work order to have that done. Oh, yes, there is. It's in my truck. I, I think you signed it. Uh -huh. like, are you trying to just get a free roof? Because really, you should have waited. No. You should have waited until we were done to start start with all this scam stuff on us. No, that, that's not the case, sir. Um, I do have a ring camera, and I have no notifications that anybody's at my residence. Oh, we always turn those off. Oh. You, you turn those off. Yeah, yeah, we don't want nobody 
like just watching us while we're trying to do our roofing. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that sounds legit. Well, it's creepy. So what kind of scam you trying to pull? It's creepy. What? what? No, you're, you you're the one trying to pull a scam. You know, we're up here on your roof, taking all the shingles down and you're over there saying you're not going to pay for it. Uh, nobody's has, there's no work order on I've, my house. I already told you the work order's in my truck. Who signed it? You did. When? Has, has your name on here. So looky here, buddy. Should we finish this roof or not? I don't know what scam you're trying to pull, man. I ain't got time for it. Why don't you hang up the fucking phone then? If you're, if you're so busy. Do you, know what you want to meet? Do you want to meet somewhere? Well, I don't know. You said your time's very valuable, but here you are just sitting right. on the phone saying, right. you want to meet somewhere like you're a damn kid in school? Like, meet me by the bike racks, motherfucker. Where you at? Oh, no, I don't actually want to meet you because uh, I was just making fun of you for being like that. Remember? Oh, okay. Right. So you're conducting a business call and you're needing money and you're well, I mean, that, me. that, that's, that's eventually, that's usually how it goes. You know, we put on your roof, you, right. give, you give us money. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, if you are at my residence, there's going to be problems. Well, I was trying to tell you that there's a piece of rotting drywall up, uh, I mean, plywood up here, but you know what? We'll just leave it. Okay. We'll just carefully step around it when we put the shingles on that spot. Right. You're going to be dick about it. Yeah, who's your boss? Is he, who's your supervisor? Uh, it's Chris Tompkinson. Also, Chris Tompkinson. We, we took we pulled up the the plywood, uh, you know, this 4 by 8 sheet of plywood, and a lot of insulation flew out of the attic. Right. It, it, right. Sorry about that. Yeah. I didn't think what, that would... What attic? What attic? Well, you know... Uh, your roof, it's uh, slanted, and the, the little part in there that's uh, just empty and has insulation, right. we call that an what, attic, sir. What what color of vehicle is sitting in the driveway right now? I thought you were going to ask what color the insulation was. No, what color of vehicle is sitting in the driveway right now? Well, there's several vehicles in the driveway because, uh, you know, we got we got Wayne's truck. Right. What, what got, color of vehicle was... What we, color of vehicle was sitting in the driveway well, when you guys my, got there? My truck is the Ford F-150, and it's blue. Sure. Okay, so what color of vehicle what, was sitting in the driveway? You don't believe I own a Ford F-150? Fuck you. No. Why? I believe you're full of shit. I believe you're not at my residence. You're just trying to scam people, and I don't know what for. Oh, you're the one trying to scam me, because you're saying you didn't even order this roof. Like, who would just order a roof for you? I have no idea. I thought you were a super busy man and really needed to hang up that damn phone. I'm actually on the way to take care of some other business right now, but I've got time while I'm driving, so oh. what exactly are you trying but, to get at? So what you're not you actually... Do? I'm just making a prank call, sir. I'm not trying to get at anything. Yeah. But, so you're not actually a, a very busy man. That was just an elaborate ruse. Um, I am busy. I don't have time for bullshit, so what do you want? What's okay, I'll come clean with you. I'm with Tompkinson's Distraction Service, and he hired me to distract you for exactly five minutes. And it looks like my oh, job is done. Distracting me for, for what purpose? Well, I don't ask questions. I just like, okay, tell me what time to call him up and distract him. Where, so where do you guys get the numbers for these prank calls? Or I've been getting all kinds of spam... Like, what, where do you guys get this? my number from? Well, these Tell me are, that. Those are separate things, spam and prank calls. They're kind of the same, aren't they? Well, we don't share lists. I mean, they're, they're, they're just people trying to call and waste your waste your time or get your credit card information. So, well, like, where, prank, prank callers do don't... Your, your, hey! Prank callers don't call and get I, your uh, credit card information. That's scammers. Right, but, like, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of a prank call? Well, I'm, I'm calling from the prank call call center. So like, we're, yeah, we're in Florida and we're not, you know, we're not like, we're, we're not trying to scam people. We're just prank calling people. That's all. Yeah. But where do you guys get the number from? Uh, various sources. We're not allowed to reveal our sources though. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't understand why, <laughs> like, 
you guys want to put this on the internet and get a few laughs to get a couple likes. Oh no, it's not for the internet. This is just the prank call call center. Just the prank call call center. Yeah, prank call call center dot com. Hmm. Well, I don't know where you guys would get my information from. Well, we have it because. So, okay, so the prank call is over. So you're not at my house removing my roof. Well, uh-huh. you, may, maybe I am. Maybe what? I'm not. Maybe, maybe you are. Maybe you're not. Maybe, yeah. I maybe c- I am waiting outside wherever you're calling from. Maybe. I kind of doubt maybe that I'm. because I am in Florida. Maybe you are, but maybe you're not. Do maybe I, you think you're in Florida. Oh yeah. Maybe you're. It, crap. Who knows? Right? Oh crap! Right. I see you out there. Ah fuck! I gotta go. Yeah. Yep. I gotta, I gotta go. Out, I gotta walk outside and get my ass kicked now. Right. Oh yeah. boy. Oh. Yeah. This, this yeah. again. <laughs> okay, sir. You have a good day. If you're not needing anything else, hey, I do have things hey, to do. Hey, I'm gonna come out there right now and I'm gonna kiss you on the mouth. Uh, no. That that is a negative, negatory. No. Yes. No. I, I I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna I, put my, my hands. My pronouns are. are my pronouns are, are he and no thank you. No thanks. Okay, I gotta go. Been so fun. so people Happy are like, day. excuse me. All right, I got another caller calling in. I don't know what this is. Prank call call center, can I help you? Yeah. Um, why are you guys calling my phone? Oh, uh, it was probably to make a prank call. Um, you're calling the prank call call center, so... We must have called you earlier and not received an answer. We were going to prank call you. Well, I hope you guys stop that. Oh, no, no. This is what we do. Um, but we probably you put us on your do not call list, and I want to know how you got my number. Well, we don't have a do not call list, man. We're prank callers, and uh, telemarketer laws do not apply to us because we're not out there scamming people. We're just prank calling them. You don't have nothing better to do. Well, this is my job, ma'am. I work at the Prank Call Call Center here in Roy, New Mexico. Okay, she did not like that. I'm still calling from the list that Mullen Wolf sent to me. And it looks like I have 205 numbers left to call. And it seems like, I don't know, maybe a third of these are disconnected. And another third of them are like, you know, it just doesn't work. Like they don't answer the phone. Or they just hang up on me because they think I'm a scammer. And then a strange number of these phone numbers in this list are missing digits from the phone number. Like missing one digit. So all I can assume is that Mullen Wolf was giving me people's social security numbers instead of phone numbers on this. Damn it, Mullen Wolf. Don't do that. I'm a felon, you know. I can't be trusted with other people's social security numbers. But it's weird. That happened a lot. Like I can... I'm looking in the list right now, and there's a bunch. I mean, not a bunch, but like every, every, I don't know, 10th number, they're just nine digits. They're missing one digit, and it pisses me off when I get there, and I'm typing in their number, and I don't have enough digits. Damn it, Mullen Wolf. Not to complain about the list, though. It's been a pretty fun list. I like how it's not just old people. It seems to be various ages of adults, and exactly 100% of them are against being kissed on the mouth by a man if they are a man. I wish I could say what city this is so I could warn you guys. Like, if you're ever in the city, don't go around kissing men on the mouth because they do not appear to like that around here. Hello. Hey, Ian? Yes. Ian, hey, uh, this is Jeff from the post office. I, I deliver- okay. And I delivered you a package earlier. But is it going to be a problem? Yes. okay. Is it, is it going to be a problem if... Uh, I accidentally threw the package on your roof. What? I threw it on your roof. I'm sorry. You're, sh- <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. I used to, I used to belong to Little League, and I've got an amazing pitching arm, and I just don't know my own strength, I guess. And it landed up there, kind of on the back side of your roof. The back side of the roof. Yep. Is is this a joke? No, I'm very sorry, ma'am. But um, you probably just want to get up there with the ladder and knock it down with the broom. The back side of the roof? Like you can't see it from the front of the house? No, no, I, I threw it way up there. I'm like, you, you should have seen it. It was a pretty good throw. Why, why, why? Can I ask why you did that? It was a heavy box. 
Well, I was trying to throw it on the porch, and I just got carried away. Just like just now? Yeah, well, a little bit ago. What? I was I wasn't gonna tell you. I was gonna just let you believe that maybe neighborhood kids came over and threw it on the roof. But I decided <laughs> to do the right thing and let you know it's right there on the back of the house. Okay, well, I'll tell my husband, and he'll try to get it down somehow. Well, can you try and get it down? Like, I can walk you through uh, how to use a ladder. Uh, I've had hand surgery. I can't do anything like that. Yeah, but ladder is more of a foot thing. You're saying a footstool? No, 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 a ladder. But that's more like a thing you use with your feet. You can just use one. I know, but you, you have one. to hang on to the dang thing with your hands. Just hang on with one. And I can't with right one, now. I one, had hand hey, surgery. With one hand. Just use one hand. Do we have a ladder in the garage? The post office delivered a package and he threw it up on the porch, except it landed on the roof. Our roof? Yeah, I guess. I mean, maybe. Um, did you... Tell him I have it, terrible depth perception. That's why a little league never really, you know, worked out for me completely. Is my depth perception? You, I can only really uh, see out of one eye. Which, above which door did you? Well, I was aiming for the front door. I was aiming for the front door, but I think I more went toward the back door, assuming it's in the back of the house. Are you? The what address are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, two two seven Street. I'm sorry about laughing. I don't mean to laugh. I'm just smoking weed right now. I'm on my lunch break. Well, I'm outside right now with my husband, and we see no package on the roof. Are you guys in clothes? Or are you wearing like like robes and pajama pants and stuff? <laughs> no, we're in clothes. Okay, I'm just. You know, you got to paint a picture. Walking around the back of the house right now. Maybe it landed on the deck. Do you have a deck? Well, we have a deck on one side on the apartment side of our house. It was a heavy box. I wonder if it just went straight through the roof and it's like up in your attic. Oh, this has got to be a joke. You you are on weed. Well, there I'm. I'm on the back side of the house. I see no package anywhere. Hmm. Can you go get that ladder real quick? Uh, talk to him. Who is this? Sir, that wife of yours is impossible. This is Jeff from the post Who? office. What's your last name? Connors. Hey, hey, sir. Jeff Connors from which post hey, office? Hey, listen. I'm just, I didn't really deliver you a package today. I'm just playing a little joke on your wife. And why would you do that? Just just to play a joke on her. Don't tell her, though. Like, make her walk around and look for the package some more. I'm out here with her looking for it. Yeah, but I don't, I didn't mean to play the joke on you. It's just on your wife. So just. Okay, and why just, would you do that just, on her? Just be like, honey, go get the ladder and make her climb up on the roof and, and look around for it. And then just be like, just kidding. Do that. Which post office do you work out of? The one here in town. Downtown? Uh-huh. How, how come? Well, because normally people who work for the government and so forth don't wind up doing this kind of shit. Well, I'm on my lunch break right now. So I'm just taking my lunch break. Is she still looking around? Then why would you call her? Um, I just wanted to play a prank on her. Is she still looking? What's she doing? Sir, what's she doing? What's she doing? Is she looking? No, I think... Uh, Where'd she I go? I think we're done. You, you may be done if you don't watch out. Why is she so quiet? What do you mean? I'm... We're walking around looking because of what you intended and so forth. Yeah, yeah. I Why is you chose her phone number or her? Yeah, well, I was just, I wanted to play a prank on her because we know each other. <laughs> what do you mean you know each other? I just heard her say something about the package. Is she really still looking? And you said your name is Jeff Connor? Yeah. 
Yeah. You know a Jeff Connor? Sir. Truth is, you're a fucking liar, and you wind up don't even work for the post office. What? No, I work for the post office. I see her over at the Dairy Queen all the time. Over at the Dairy Queen? Yeah, she hangs out at the Dairy Queen a lot. So do I. Which Dairy Queen? She don't go to the Dairy Queen. Oh, yeah. She, she probably just doesn't tell you because she wants to be al- alone. <laughs> you know. You know. And you work at the downtown post office. Yes. Now yeah. What? Yeah, what's she what's she doing? Did, did is she done looking? Did you tell her it's a prank? Cuz can we both can we both yell at her it's a prank together? And why do you think that is so fucking fucking cruel to take and do that to a woman and and Well, cuz it's a prank. It's supposed to be funny. I was going to I was going to laugh at her and give her a hard time about it. The You're next, a sick son of a bitch. Next, you know that? The next time I see her at the Dairy Queen you better watch out when next time you see her at Dairy Queen, because the cops will be with you. What? No, I don't hang out with cops. <laughs> you won't have to after I get done with you. What are you going to do to me? I'll turn it over to them to take care of an asshole that winds up doing this kind of shit. Sir, if you and I meet, do you think do you think we could kiss on the mouth together? Do what? Can 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 me and you kiss on the mouth? Sit on the mail. No, if if I see you, I'm gonna kiss you on the mouth. I'm gonna. You I'm, wouldn't even get close enough. No, I'm gonna put, You'd be on the fucking ground before you knew it. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put my hands on your face, all tender like, and I'm gonna be like, Mwah, and I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, that made him hang up on me. I am down to 202 numbers on this list for Molen Wolf, so I will definitely come back to all of these and, uh, you know, retry the ones that didn't pick up. There, 197 left now. After I deleted a few of those that are social security numbers instead of phone numbers. Frickin' Mullen Wolf trying to turn me into an identity thief. That is not cool. Hey, Brad. It's Redbeard. Hey. And I'm just calling to say happy Friday and I love you. And after years and years of being a hobo, I am finally contributing to the cause and became a Patreon for $10 a month. It's about, about time, damn it. But listen here, don't be letting your son listen to the hobo sods, because he's not a paid member. That's cheating. That's not fair. Don't do that. Pay for me for finally contributing to the phone losers and yeah. not just being a freeloader. Anyway, love you very much. Have Thanks. a good day. Bye, Brad. Thanks, Redbeard. I'm kidding. You can let Gary Busey listen to the shows, too, I guess. He's probably just pirating them anyway. Man, I'm like your biggest fan. What's up, motherfucker? We calling you out here from the fucking basement of Area 51, baby. Hey, hey, What's going on? It's hey, the- Graveyard Goons. Graveyard Goons, buddy. We out here in the graveyard, baby. We miss you, Brad. Yeah, we're back. Glad to be back. What do you mean you miss me? I'm not the one that disappeared, and I was listening to your show this week. Well, some of it. Not the part where you left this voicemail, but I was talking to you guys in the chat room. So why do you miss me? This doesn't make any sense. Love you. Your show's amazing. Keep doing what you do. Thanks. You're a fucking genius. You're like the funniest person ever. Oh, really Danielle. I love you. Bye. Bye. So by the way, everybody, the Graveyard Goons are back. They took their uh, yearly six-month hiatus, and they just returned this past Wednesday. They're on every Wednesday night at exactly 5 p.m. Pacific time. And you can find them over at prankcast.com. Although on that one, you might want to find their YouTube because they dress up every week in Halloween costumes and they have weird themed shows. It's kind of fun to watch. Hello there, Brad. This Hello. is John calling from Reno, Nevada. Hey. I just had a quick question about one of your songs. Um, Better be quick. It was called What City, Please? And it was by uh, you. Yeah. Um, I was wondering where I could find an instrumental version that you use in some of uh, your shows. Especially uh, that part that goes do 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 because I could only find the uh, the slow version. I don't like. I don't know where I can even find that. Wait, no, I must be able to find that. It's gotta be somewhere. The lyrics. But I really like the sound of the instrumental. So if you could help me out with that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So you only want the sped up version of it, like not the real version of it? Oh yeah, that one's right here. This is easy. Yeah, this old instrumental. I will put a link in the description right now of this show on uh, snowplowshow.com. 
and it should also be on YouTube in the description. So go check there if you want to link to that song. It is the loop version though. It's not like the entire song. It's just the piano bits, I think, and or maybe it's all of it. I don't know. It's definitely very sped up though. It was way too boring when I did it normal speed. Hey, Brad, it's Patrick. Hey. From Illinois. And what a great 2023 it's been so far. It's had some great snowplow shows and some phenomenal hobo shows. And oh my goodness, the hobo show that just gave us the most sticker worthy phrase in the history of sticker worthy phrases. I don't even know what you're going to say, for real. Here's your package, Rat King. Oh, yeah. Needs to become a sticker. Holy sweet butter. What the hell, Nick Caesar? Why do I not have that already? We need a here's your package, Rat Jesus, King. That was amazing, and it's uh, something I'm very much looking forward to putting on my laptop whenever it's been made into a sticker. Yeah. Anyway, Brad, hope you've been enjoying your 2023. Make good choices, Brad. Thanks. Bye. I will. And that clip, it's not even from one of my pranks. That's just from the submission itself. In fact, I still have that here on my desktop. There's your package! That was the voice of the lady who submitted that prank. We should get her to do some drops for the show. Hey, Brad. Hey. It's Derek Burns calling. Hello. I just listened to you talk to this old lady called, uh, I think she was called uh, Betty. And you said that Betty and Beverly both threatened to call their attorney generals on you. Yeah. Or what? was it the district attorney? Maybe one of them uses one and the other uses the other. But I just want to let you know, the plural of attorney of attorneys general is attorneys, the plural of attorney general is attorneys general, not attorney generals. Okay, Brad? Uh, okay, nerd. Sorry I said something wrong on my prank call show. Hey, Brad, it's Ochre, your neighbor. Uh, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, hey. pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello. <laughs> All right, okay, so, hey, next time you do a hotel uh, prank call thing where you call them and you know, you say you're hacking in and you see a lady smoking and yeah. there's a smoking room. Yeah. You should do that, but do it um, with a voice changer and tell them that you're a woman and you see a naked man smoking. I wonder <laughs> how they would react differently. Mm. They'd probably just be like, oh, I don't care. With a lady, they seem to care, but with a dude, they'd probably just be like, eh, whatever, it's just a naked man. Anyway, you should do it. Bye. Yeah, I bet they won't get all offended and be like, you're violating that naked man's privacy. Well, maybe they will, but, you know, they won't be as upset about it. Because naked women smoking cigarettes in their room while they're naked are way more vulnerable than men doing the same thing. So, yeah, that could be kind of interesting. So, I'll try to remember to do that. Hey, Brad, it's Dustin Reality calling you. I just wanted to let you know a couple hey. things. One, I'm doing a new show. It's on a new channel, and it's called Effin Gato Presents. Check it out. I know everyone will be there, and I'll have a million subscribers by the end of the day. I'm doing I, an interview I, right I, now. I'd subscribe right now if I knew where it was. Effin Gato presents. You need to comment with that account on this show on YouTube. And hopefully I will notice that and I will heart your comment and then I will go subscribe. Everybody go look for that comment and subscribe to Effin Reality. You. I need to know one thing for now. And I'll ask more questions later, but not tonight. Okay. What is the last time? When is the last time that somebody took a thought they were taking advantage of your kindness the weakness and how did you set them straight also i invested early in the internet are you asking like real life questions or do you mean in a prank call and your question was phrased weird i'm so confused when is the last time that somebody took a thought they were taking advantage of your kindness the weakness and how did you set them straight they were taking advantage of my kindness and how did i set them straight I still don't think I know what you're asking. Also, I invested early in the NFT. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Hashtag, Red's not dead. And boy, is that paying off now, buddy. Way to go. Crap. Did you ever call the Rain Hotel, by the way? All right, that's too long. No, Bye. I did not. I didn't know about the Rain Hotel until, uh, I think someone told me about it maybe a year or two ago. And I looked into it and I listened to some of it. But then uh, after Rev died, well, no, Rev is not dead, everybody. The Rain Hotel Rev is apparently not dead. I'm told there are two different revs in the prank calling world who used to make prank calls around the exact same time. I don't know how this didn't start some sort of a prank war. But yeah, I had no idea what the Rain Hotel was back when it existed before this rev asshole decided to get us shut down by harassing them to death. And I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. Nobody would ever take advantage of me. That's silly. 
I understand you can't do pot anymore, but you could do crack on the show. That'd be a lot of fun. You just harass an old ladies with <laughs> doing a bunch of crack. Yeah. It's too bad I don't do hard drugs because wouldn't that be like a fun concept for a show? Here's Brad harassing old ladies on crack. Here's Brad harassing old ladies on heroin. Here's Brad harassing old ladies on mushroom. I don't know, but I don't know what you're talking about. I can smoke as much pot as I want. I smoked pot this morning. My probation's been over for like six months now. I can do anything I want. I can break all the laws down. It doesn't matter. All right, one more last voicemail. Who should I play? Hmm, I don't know. How about I play this one here from Corbin? No, no, I could play this other one. No, not Corbin guy. Um, Justin from West of the Rockies. Let's listen to it. No, just kidding. We're not going to listen to that. We're going to listen to Brown Teresa. No, no, just kidding. I don't want to be called Honey Poo today. I'm just trying to give Climate his blue balls because he's been freaking out lately in the Discord about me not playing his voicemail that he sent two weeks ago. He's like, oh, I got lost in the shuffle. He's never going to play it now. I'm playing your voicemail, Climatiz. I'm playing it. Here it is. Hey, Brad. It's uh, Climatiz from Iceland. Uh, Hello. So in How's the- Iceland this time of year? Yeah. A recent episode, you were talking about you wanted some work numbers. Uh, I sent you an email with the keyword for finding work numbers on Google. Yay. Uh, although I, I did typo the address a little bit. You have to add an S to the end of it because it's an actual sheet shirts. And I have the new format and the old format, and the old format is XLS. What? But I wrote the keyword was only XL, oh God. I, uh, and I sent that to okay. you. So if you do the search, you know, right. just add the S to the end of okay. it, and uh, you'll be fine. So, uh, Cactus, Cactus, see ya. Hopefully, when I get around to opening that email, I will remember the thing about the S. Thank you for the voicemail, Climatiz. I hope you can rest easy tonight, since it finally got played. All right, that's it for the show. It's over. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks to the sponsors, Matt Chu, JT, SimSpeak, CelebrityCash.com, and Half Alpha. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Here is a song by MC Lars and Megaran. Way down in Oceania, they rewrite the past. They erase the facts. Let me tell you something. I'm not even going to talk to you anymore, you sorry son of a gun.